an arms race for sports complexes across the metro is exploding. West Des Moines Recplex with hockey rinks, soccer fields, and basketball courts held its grand opening October 3rd. The Grimes Plex with 13 soccer fields and 16 baseball fields is currently under construction with a completion date of next summer. The newest <laughs> suburb to join the trend looks to be Johnston. Yeah, not to be outdone. Here's what was on the city council agenda tonight. The Ignite Sports Complex. This would go in along Merle Hay Road and Johnston Drive right north of 8035. And that's where we go live to WHO 13's Justin Cernsey. Justin, all right, what is it about this place that makes it so special? Well, Dan, they're wasting no time here in Johnston. Uh, construction equipment already on site. You can see the graders off in the distance and mounds of dirt. Grading is already occurring here at the site. We're located just seven miles southeast of that Grimes Plex you spoke about, which is currently under construction. Now, tonight, the city of Johnston moved one step closer to what they hope can become a major Midwest destination. The City of Council unanimously approved the approval final reading for a proposal to rezone over 30 acres of land to include an over 200,000 square foot sports and recreation facility, all in partnership with Ignite Sports and Fitness. The privately owned Ignite Recreation Complex will be located just north of Interstate 8035 along the west side of Merle Hay Road. It will house the state's largest indoor track and a full-size soccer field. Plans are also in place for outdoor volleyball courts, baseball fields, eight multi-purpose courts, and the Metro's first cricket field. Council member Rhonda Martin said some of the only concerns she's heard from the community were whether or not their homes would be blocked from any noise that sporting events may cause. I think that there has been a lot of goodwill and good discussions happened over the last few weeks. And I, if I'm still on the council, I guarantee you that I will follow up on the things that we've talked about. Um, more landscape, more screening. Um, so we, I've heard you. So thank Now the events won't be just limited to sports. The arts and entertainment will be included. Uh, they talked about indoor and outdoor concerts, fairs and festivals. The next step would be council approval for a full site plan that Ignite Sports would take care of as well. And then the groundbreaking could occur this coming late winter, early spring with a completion date, Dan, of mid to late spring 2023. Yeah, they really throw these things up quickly anymore. Justin Surrency live in Johnston. Thanks, Justin.